Hello, everyone. Welcome back to FA Channel with Paris. The place I just show you in the video. Can you believe it's 30 minutes drive from West Tokyo? Yes, this is the park called Yumin Valley Park, and it's a great place to enjoy North European fairy tale vibe. I was really surprised how quiet it is and how much nature they got there. In today's episode, let me bring you to this park and show you how to enjoy the most of it. Actually, this whole area is called Metsa. They have two zones, Metsa Village and Mooming Valley Park. Metsa, I checked online, is Finnish means florist where you can experience Scandinavian lifestyle markets. The view is stunning. As you can see, have a lot of space for you to walk around, to sit and have a coffee, and it's surprisingly quiet. And here's the Mooming Valley Park. Of course, it's a theme park full of Mooming characters. I just love how they place all these little details in the park to make it connected with the characters. It well portrayed the living environment Mumi lives because stories are everywhere. If you are not familiar with the Mumi character, these characters are very popular in Japan and they are a comic series created by Finnish illustrator, originally <laughs> published in Sweden. And they are a family of white round fairy tale characters. Personally, I'm not too familiar with the character because I didn't grow up with it, but it doesn't bother me to enjoy this park. I actually felt closer to them as you walk around and understand their stories. I literally feel the spirit everywhere because of all these details and the different sections of the park. Here let me show you some of my favorite parts. Once you get into the Mooming Valley Park, you walk beside the lake and you will see this little house. Apparently in the fairy tale, Mooming loves swimming and this is part of their life. along with other little decorations like this lighthouse. You can rent a boat to enjoy the view too. You feel like you can become part of the story. And here's the house they live in. All these decorations and furniture is from the illustration. It's really well made, full of details, so it makes you feel like they live here when you're not around. <laughs> They also have two theaters in the park where you can have immersive visual experience. Um, I don't quite get the Japanese narration, but it doesn't really bother me to enjoy the story.
here's another fun part. This theater is relatively smaller. When you get into it, your photo is automatically taken. They will choose randomly a couple of people. And then all of a sudden you become part of story in a theater on the screen. <laughs> If you want to know more about this fairy tale, don't miss out the gallery, which is on the second floor of the gift shop. As you can see, how can we miss any interactive digital creations? It's informative and fun. Ah, that's all the books. We truly enjoy every little part of this park. Even if you are not interested in moving the park, you can still enjoy the Metza village for free. As you can see, the view is stunning. The air is sweet with a lot of nature. At the end of the day, I feel like I was in another country, not in Tokyo. <laughs> I guess that's the best part of it. You can enjoy different kind of culture in the city. I hope you get a chance to come visit here. Thank you so much for watching guys. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week. See you guys in the next video.